backyard to earn his wages working hard. I pray to the stars and heaven above to return my daddy to those he loves. If there comes a time when he and death meet, bless the next cutter that takes his seat. resources, a brighter future. It's here where hard workers like you, the backbone of civilization, will help us pave the way to the galaxy. I'm Calicia Rye Paulson, president of Lynx Corporation's Salvage Division. When my great-great-grandfather Exeter founded Lynx, he foresaw a remarkable opportunity among the stars. His vision eventually brought us the rail gates. Now spanning all the way to Jupiter, these are the veins connecting all of modern civilization. And the people flowing through them are its lifeblood. The rail gates reinvigorated humanity and are key to our continued progress. You've been selected from among thousands of candidates to join the Lynx family. This is more than just a job. It's an opportunity to be part of the largest, most successful, and most pioneering company in human history. Your dream may be to forge your own destiny one day. Well, work hard, feed your superiors, believe in the Lynx vision. Do this, and you too will get your chance. Your first step is to join our Ever Work program, the greatest gift we give our employees, turning death into an ongoing opportunity for learning and growth. With Lynx, death is a fresh start. Good luck.
Everything's going to be just fine. There you go. Plenty of folks feel a bit woozy with the first pair. Hey, anyway, welcome aboard. The name's Weaver. I'm the foreman for yourself and a couple of other shipbreakers in this region. This year's Morgan Station. She may not look like much right now, but once we boot her up, she'll purr like a kitten. All right, let's test out your orientation control. Do me a favor and look up at that cargo elevator up above. That's it. So that's where all the salvage gets collected to be picked up by the transfer crew. Just in case you ever turn yourself out of whack, use your roll thrusters to reorient. All right. Now let's get you flying. Activating your thruster controls now. Try moving around. Now vertical control. Mm-hmm. Looks good. Now, to finalize these movement checks, I need you to fly to these waypoints. Myself, you know, until there were some uh, complications with my last revive. Those are early days in the tech, though, so never you mind about that. Oh, almost forgot the most important thing brakes. Get yourself going at a decent clip and then test them out, why don't you? All right. Looks like the bay here was left in a bit of a mess. We're gonna clean this crap up. I'm gonna activate the furnaces. Now. Dang, dang. Would you just... There you go. So these furnaces are used to melt down soft metals. Should go without saying. These things are hot as all get out. So, try not to drift into them by accident. Okay, let's get a handle on your grapple tool. This fella here is a shipbreaker's bread and butter. This is how we move salvage around. Activate the beam and hold it to grab an object and move it around, if it's not too heavy. Give it a go, and move one of these pieces into either furnace. So, when you're holding an object with the grapple, you can retract the beam. This will pull a light object to you if it's heavier than you, it'll pull you towards it. Check out your HUD when you've got an object grappled. It shows you the mass of the object and whether you can move it or not. Nice job cleaning up that soft metal scrap cutter. Huh. Let's move on to the bigger nanocarbon chunks now, shall we? You may have already noticed that these are too heavy to move with your grapple. I'm enabling your scanner so we can check out their structural makeup. Go ahead and boot it up. This mode of your scanner lets you assess an object structure. What I want you to focus on right now are these cut points. All right, controls give me the go ahead to get you cutting. You got quick access to all your tools through your HUD. Just open up your tool selector and choose the cutting tool. The cutting tool has two modes. The first one is the stinger. Now it's designed for precision vaporization of cut points like this. You ready to perform some zero-G surgery cutter? Well, let's flip this scrap so it's light enough to move. That's how you do it. Okay, let me boot up the processor so you can salvage these. Uh, do me a favor, look on over at one of them there. Yeah, so I can see if they activate, right? Yeah, perfect. Wish me luck here, Cutter. Me and technology ain't always the best of friends. Hey, all right. We're in business. 
Now swap over to your grapple and toss one of those pieces you separated right in there. over to the split saw mode of your cutting tool and start slicing this thing down to size. Go ahead and switch cut modes now. Now try changing the angle of the cut. We're in business. I've unlocked the trigger on your cutting tool. It'll split that big chunk clean in two. Go ahead and give her a whirl. I'm gonna turn on your salvage indicator so you can track how much work there is left to do. This thing will track how much you've salvaged and how much you've lost. For now, let's try and hit that first goal marker. And that's what it's all about, Cutter. The more salvage goals you complete, the closer you'll get to hitting your certification and ranking up. Transmission waiting. Welcome to your new home, Cutter. That's everything you need. This is officially called a ready-made long-term employee habitation something or other. Around here, we just call it your hab. Now, how's about you get yourself some rest? We'll pick up your training in the morning. Sleep tight there, Cutter. <laughs> <laughs> 